This video demonstrates the process of using NetBeans to develop a C++ program on a remote Linux machine. This video already assumes that you have the necessary NetBeans plugins installed and they are operational. I already have NetBeans up and running. So the first step in the process is to ensure that your remote tools are visible on the top toolbar. To ensure they are visible, go to the view, go to toolbars option and click on the remote option and that will show up a remote set of tools on the toolbar. The first step in the process is to add a remote host on which you would like to develop. So in the drop down, select manage hosts and in the dialog that pops up, click on the add button, type in your host name. In this case, I'm going to use Red Hawk as my host. Um, use your login ID and click the next button. You'll be prompted for your password. Use your regular password. And here NetBeans will check the different compilers that are installed on the machine and it will configure and set up the tools on the remote machine. This, do, this does take a few seconds. Ensure that it picks up GCC 4.9.2 and the Intel C++ compiler version 15. We're going to use GNU as the default set tool set. Make sure that you access the files via SFTP. This SFTP is an important setting. Don't forget it. And click the finish button. Now select Red Hawk as your default host. So by clicking on the set as default and click the OK button. On top on your toolbar, you should see a green icon indicating that you're connected to the machine. Now you'll be able to use the remote tools to create remote projects, open existing projects on the remote machine, or even browse files on the remote machine. In this video, we're going to create a remote project. And the only way to create a remote project is by clicking on the toolbar button. There are no other menus or options that will work to create a remote project. So upon click the tool and in the C++ settings, make sure that you pick up Miami University C++ project that gives you a couple of extra options and configurations to make your life easier when programming with and developing C++ programs. Click the next button. You can give your project any name you want. In this case, I'm going to give it the name Hello as an example. Typically, you will also create a main C++ source file. In this case, I'm going to call it also Hello as a convenience. You can give different names here. This will be the name of your main C++ uh, source file. Ensure that you're selecting the C++14 standard and click the Finish button. This will create a project on the remote machine, on the remote server, and it'll set up all of the necessary tools, the necessary make files, and the build system that is required to compile and run your program on the remote machine. So once the project is created, you can drill into it. You can drill into the source file. You'll see a hello.cpp, which is a template that NetBeans creates for you. Open up your template. Make sure that your line endings are set to Unix line endings. This is particularly important on a Windows machine. Now, you, this is a standard editor where you can edit the template. You basically clean up the template. Anytime you work on a program, it's a good idea to change and put your copyright message. So I'm going to put my copyright here. And then typically we'll use the IO stream for doing all kinds of input output operation. This is going to be a simple C++ program, so I'm just going to type um, a hello world message onto the console. Now let's try compiling it by clicking on the compile or the build button, which looks like a hammer. Once the program compiles, ensure that your build is successful. You do not have any errors reported from CPP Lint, which is the style checker that we're using. And you should not have any compiler warnings or error messages from the compiler, indicating that you have a clean build. Once you have a clean build, you can also run your program in NetBeans by clicking on the Run button. So when you click Run, you should be able to see the output from your program on the terminal. So you'll be able to see the output there. In addition to running programs from NetBeans, it's, all, it's also important to learn to run these programs from a terminal. 
So I'm going to go switch over to my terminal. I'm already logged on to um, the terminal here. I'm going to log on to Red Hawk. And I'm going to switch over to my project folder so I can go to my project properties. Look at the properties. And this is my the project location basically tells me the directory there. And that means I stored all of my files. So I'm going to switch over to that directory in my terminal. And in that directory, you should be able to see all of your files. Here's my source file that's hello.cpp. This is exactly the same file that I typed earlier. Let's look at the guy. So you'll see this is basically the program that I worked on. And the executable file is shown usually being bright green. So you can directly run the executable file from the terminal. It's also important to know how to compile from the terminal. So here we use the GCC compiler, which is C, the G++, which is a C++ compiler. Give it a couple of flags, dash G to embed debug information, dash WR to report all warnings. Use the standard C++ 14 standards. Let's also throw in an aggressive optimization flag, which is the dash capital O3 flag. And then we specify the source file, hello.cpp, dash O, lowercase O for output. Let's write, overwrite the hello executable that we have. That ran the compiler. And you'll see that, it, of course, it's produced the same executable. Let's give the executable a different name just to see how things work. Let's call it alt. So now you will see there are two executables. One is called hello, another one is called hello alt. And we can run them. Obviously, they're going to produce the same output in material of um, which one we run. But just to give you an example of how you can use the terminal, the command prompt, and reproduce the same behavior that you see in NetBeans, you should be able to reproduce the same behavior and setup on the terminal so that you're able to work both at the terminal and through an IDE consistently to program in C++ and run C++ programs.